Hey everybody, I'm back with another grocery haul. Do you see all of those beautiful groceries behind me? I am going to show them to you and I am going to give you what we are going to be eating this week and tell you how much I spent. So I'll turn you around and show you what we got. I'm going to start over here with our fresh vegetables. So I grabbed some parsnips today. Um, I love parsnips. I love to throw them in soups or just stir fries. Just I love to have them on hand. They kind of act a lot like a potato, but something different. I grabbed a couple um, butternut squashes. The only peppers that they had were red peppers this week. Um, so I have peppers in quite a few of the dishes that we're having this week. So red it is. I grabbed a couple um, two pound bags of baby carrots. We just love to snack on those um, with some guacamole, um, ranch. I grabbed some lettuce here and some potatoes. I grabbed a whole bunch of sweet potatoes and some fresh broccoli. Of course, I needed some onion. You guys know how much I love onion. And I grabbed a bag of avocados, which are still like super hard, but that's all of them that they had were really hard ones. Um, I grabbed a couple limes um, just to top off. I have a couple more Mexican style dishes this week. And um, I love just to uh, fresh squeeze some lime um, when I'm ready to serve those. It just brings out an amazing flavor. Um, I grabbed some Granny Smith apples. Um, I grabbed some celery. These are like the smallest stocks. Do you see how small these are? I didn't realize um, it when I grabbed them. Um, I just grabbed a bag of them, but they'll be fine. But I just couldn't believe them when I got them home and looked at them. I was like, these are like baby celery stalks, but we love to have those with just some peanut butter or almond butter for a snack or throw in some soup. Um, I needed some butter and I got our favorite guacamole. Um, I grabbed some wild blueberries and I needed some honey crisp apples as well. Um, I grabbed a whole bunch of bananas, which that'll probably last us like two days. <laughs> um, I grabbed a pineapple here. We're going to just to have um, as a snack, but also I'm going to use it in one of my recipes um, for dinner this week. I grabbed two bags of just some strawberries. Um, we love to throw that in yogurt, um, have as a snack. Oh, my kids were so excited when they saw that I grabbed them mango. I always grab frozen mango. I don't know about you guys, but man, I have a hard time cutting mango. Like I have no fruit left when I'm done. Um, cutting out the pit and stuff. I grabbed some more squeeze, um, squeeze pouches. These ones are great. Um, they're just, uh, just the foods. There's no fillers in those. Um, we love to have popcorn, um, as a snack. I grabbed probably more snack food this time. Cause you know, the kids are home from school. <laughs> so, um, but I just love to micro, uh, we just, I, I pop this and then, um, I just put the butter, I microwave some butter and melt it and put that in salt on top. And that's how we eat our butter, our popcorn. But I grabbed a few cans of pineapple and this is our favorite um, bread here. I grabbed some tortillas. Um, these are some of our favorite tortilla shells here um, because we're going to be having fajitas, chicken fajitas this week. So I grabbed some salsa, and I also grabbed um, some pineapple salsa. We like to have both. Um, I grabbed a couple nut butters. These two are wonderful nut butters. They're just one ingredient, almonds and peanuts. Um, I think this one might have salt. Yeah, it does. It has sea salt. But this one is just the almonds. I needed some more um, sea salt, so I grabbed that. I needed some rice um, for the di uh, dinner this week, so I grabbed that wild rice. I love that wild rice. Um, I grabbed just some organic dried mangoes just to snack on. Um, I grabbed this mayo. We I really like this mayo. Um, it 
It has good ingredients. I don't know if you can see them there. It's even expeller pressed oils um, of avocado and then um, an expeller pressed um, safflower oil as well. Um, this is just a pretty good alternative with good ingredients um, to some of your kind of more expensive. Um, I'll show you uh, right here. Like this is another one that I would really... Uh, is a really good mayo, but it's like this one was $3.99 and that one is like almost $10. Um, this ha has amazing ingredients. Um, this honey mustard, this is one of our favorites. It's delicious, but it is seasoned with just fruits and vegetables. It's amazing. It It's keto, it's paleo, it's gluten-free. Um, try it if you are mustard fans. I grabbed this last week and my kids loved this. If you guys are gluten free and you want like a cream of wheat, this is really good. Like my kids ate this whole bag last week. It was really good. Um, they didn't have my husband's favorite chips. So I hope he likes these ones. He likes like, a thicker chip. And as you can see, those are pretty thick. Um, but I just grabbed him a couple bags of those. Um, my daughter grabbed this and she wanted this, so it had pretty, it has good ingredients. So I thought, oh, let's give it a try. Try something new. Um, these are delicious. Um, if you guys like seasoned tortilla chips, these late July, um, tortilla chips are, these lime ones are so good. Oh my goodness. Um, I just grabbed some more rice cakes here. We just like to have those to snack on, put some nut spread or something on them. I grabbed a couple different drinks. I grabbed this Spindrift and I grabbed um, some black cherry Zevia. Um, I just have some oatmeal over here as well because we were running low on oatmeal. So you can't, you have to have the oats in the house. But I, we'll go up here. Um, I just grabbed some frozen veggies. Um, I grabbed four bags of cauliflower. I grabbed two bags of cauliflower rice and some peas and carrots. Um, some, I grabbed two two-pound bags of sweet peas and then two two-pound bags of broccoli. Um, I grabbed my husband's favorite yogurt. He loves this stuff. And then these were on sale, so I thought, oh, let's give these a try. Um, they are just some chicken sausages. This is a mild Italian um, with bell peppers. And then this one is a wild mushroom with Italian herbs. So I thought, oh, let's try those. See if they're any good. I've never had them before, so they're new at the store at, at Meijer. Um, I haven't ever seen them before, so at my Meijer anyways. And then I grabbed a couple packages of the chicken apple sausages. And as you can see, we already ate the other one because... <laughs> <laughs> we were hungry. Um, I grabbed six packs of tuna here and I have four pounds of ground beef. Um, I got two pounds of sausage. I just love to have those with um, like sweet potato and a little uh, sausage and onion and um, make like do like a hash and then put like a runny yolk egg on top. Oh, so delicious for a breakfast. I grabbed some um, just lunch meat to have on hand. I grabbed, I have three packages of drumsticks and I have um, just a package of thighs, which I got on sale. It's pretty, I snagged that one up real quick. And then a package of um, the chicken breasts. And then over here, I just have some non um, food items, I guess. I just grabbed the paper towel and we needed some toothpaste. So I grabbed a couple things of toothpaste. This I think is the glass clean, the best glass cleaner. I don't know about you guys, but this glass cleaner works so much better for me than Windex. So if Windex does not work well for you and leaves streaks all the time, try this stuff. It is so much better in my opinion but um i just needed some dish soap and some new 
sponge heads for my thing. Do you guys go through dish soap like I go through dish soap? Because literally, I like have to buy this every week. Um, apparently, I spend a lot of time doing dishes. <laughs> but at least they're clean, I guess. So I'll spin you around here and tell you what we're going to eat and tell you what my total was. All right, so for dinner this week, um, we are gonna have um, chicken and pineapple kebabs. I'm just gonna cut up some of those chicken breasts and cut up some of that pineapple and cut up some pepper and onion and just make kebabs and grill those. Are you guys so excited like I am for summer and to grill and to eat just the summer foods? Um, I'm ready for it, that's for sure. I'm also going to um, utilize my slow cooker a lot in the summertime because it doesn't heat up the house as much. So I'm gonna make some chicken fajitas in the slow cooker. So I'm just gonna take those chicken thighs and some of that salsa and some onion and bell pepper and I'll just throw that in the slow cooker and let that do all the work. I'll top it with some of that lettuce and some guac and salsa and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Another thing that we're having for dinner tonight, we're, or dinner tonight, dinner this week, is we're going to have um, just some burger bowls. They're so delicious. They're almost like a Big Mac bowl, um, but it's just the burger with lettuce and onion and pickle and then you just make a sauce like uh, I'll use. Uh, some of that mayo sauce and just season it up and just kind of drizzle it on top. It'll be really good. Um, we are also having just burgers, a grilled burger. Is there anything better than a grilled burger? Um, I will cut up some of those potatoes and probably cut them up like potato wedges and have probably broccoli um, or salad, whatever I feel that day. Um, I have lots of veggies to choose from. So we're also going to have burrito bowls. Um, I love burrito bowls, but I will just cut up some of that chicken and um, cook that up. I'll use that cauliflower rice. That's usually what I use. Um, and, or I will probably use maybe some of the rice too, maybe a mix. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling that day. But um, I'll also just saute up some onion and some bell pepper and just throw a whole bunch of stuff, maybe some beans in there. I have some of those in my pantry. Um, and we're going to have that. And also I'm going to do uh, just like a sheet pan meal basically with some of those chicken legs. Um, I'm just going to throw those on uh, a sheet pan with some potatoes and some carrots and onion and just season that all up deliciously with spices that we like um, and cook that all and have that for dinner and that is what we're having for all of our meals this week um, and my total was 361.39 so that is how much we spent this week on our groceries. Um, we have lots of delicious food to choose from all week and I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff away and I will see you guys in the next video.